HGTV is going all in for the biggest build of all playtime. Go pink or go home. The biggest. That is so much fun. The boldest. This is going to wow the judges. The Barbiest. A real life-size Barbie dream house that you can really live in. For real. Barbie dream house challenge. Special event starts Sunday night at 8 on HGTV and stream on that. Some renovation required. Tomorrow you has deadlines, boxes to check, loops to close. But tonight you has far more pressing matters. Lower in alcohol, full in flavor. More Tuesdays that feel like Fridays. Naomi Bright. Loco decided to come. Has there been another murder? Everyone here had a motive. <laughs> We got a whole lot of people to talk to. Wish your man you find the table. Day after party, only on Apple TV+. The pepperoni pizza meatball sub from Firehouse Subs is back for a limited time. With Italian meatballs and crispy pepperoni on a garlic bread roll. Get a medium for just $6 in the Firehouse Subs app. Only at Firehouse Subs. How good does it feel to find not just what you need, but everything you love? at prices you can afford. When sharing the love starts with quality ingredients. And when you can put joy on the table for two, or a party of ten, for less. When savings come in every style, and when you can get even more perks on what you buy most. That's totally Target. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You've got the force field, the moat, the saucy sheriff. No matter your cookout plate strategy, Bush's baked beans make burgers taste better. I love me a saucy sheriff. Get more from your morning routine. Make 20 cups of deliciously rich coffee with Coffee Made at Home for the price of one cup from a coffee shop. Coffee's perfect made. Coffee Made. Don't you care? From Skechers. Have you heard about this Samsung flip phone? You only have to look at it once. And then it gets like stuck inside your mind or something. And the only way to stop it is to switch. That was like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. There's no way I've ever switched. Thank you. 
It's time for a change. That change is all cool. So for the Phoenix Jericho Appreciation Society, you're conspicuous by their absence. From the end of the questions, they may be the change. That's for Chris. That's for each talk with my guy. Chris Jericho 
You're working, uh, working smarter, not harder against Commander. Yeah, you have to. You have to. And you're going to slip up your reach ability to the level of Commander. You're going to finish the match. This is what I mean now. I was saying before, Shabani, Jericho's got to ground the pound. Chuck me right now. Beat him down. Use power. You have a size advantage. Use that. Jericho. Talk about throwbacks. Never, uh, never quite that in the pin with that one, but definitely getting under his opponent's skin task. Yes, no, he tried that with me once. Once. <laughs> I'm sure it did not. The thing about Jericho, he said he needed to work smarter. Jericho's always been one of the smarter wrestlers. He has. Uh, yeah. Not only really his ring ability, but uh, his strategy, the way he approaches his match. And he has been blistering Commander Man, all those chops. Well, it's not talked about enough. Hey, I'm a brain buster. It's not talked about enough for Jericho. He's a heavy hitter. He's got heavy hands, you know? Heavy hitter guy. He's always been like that. I know him for a lot of years. He's always been that way. Covered by Jericho. Commander able to kick out at two. People think you need to be 6'5", 6'6", 300 pounds to be heavy handed. That's a load of BS. Load of Milwaukee, as some would say. Absolutely, it is. You know Milwaukee. I know him very, very well. <laughs> you live it. You're in the midsection corner. Uh, Sending to the lands on his feet. Series of kicks, roundhouse. The roundhouse was touched, but not the back heel kick. Jericho dropped to a knee. Jericho thought he had uh, baited those kicks, but he was wrong. Whoa! secret client. I can't say who it is. But let's just say she bundled her dream house and her dream car around the clock protection with Progressive. She has another house in Malibu. She's been an astronaut, an architect, a CEO. One in front of her house. Well, I'd love to tell you who her boyfriend is, but I don't think I can. I'd love to tell you, but I don't think I can. Marty, only in theaters July 21st. Commander, but 
This Saskatoon crowd seems to be getting under Chris Jericho's schedule. Yeah, they are really on him. They are really on Winnipeg, Manitoba. They are just really driving it in. And Chris Jericho right now is in maybe a little bit of trouble. Look at this. That's it. That's Chris Jericho down this again. into the rubber. Too strong to shut down the Larry Tony. Blasted it. Nailed it. And I think Commander, he just might be toast right about now. I think you're right, Taz, man. He's looking at this. He can barely stand. Let's take a look at this one more time. This is what you call major work. Oh, smokes. Jericho charging in to Commander, but into the boot of Commander. Up to the ropes. This is where Commander is comfortable with Jericho. Sweeps out the leg. You, you can see Jericho was watching him climb up, so he knew that Jericho was in it. He was just, just laying in wait, so to speak, for Commander. Now Jericho sent it to the top. Commander could be thinking superplex. Yeah, he might be for sure. Commander now trying to slow that down to prevent Chris from popping his hips off that second rope. Remains to the ribs by Commander. And now, oh, headbutt. Commander, a big one right to the eyes. Jericho got dropped. Now, Commander's got to be very, very careful here. Commander. Oh, see a Lito, Lito. One, two. Oh, Jericho barely kicked out. Now, Jericho, we've heard him talk about it. He said he's been a little bit of a run. That's, that's a late. That was almost a huge upset victory right here. Look at that. Oh, wow. Shooting stars pressed by Commander. I should do that in a drill the whole time. I've never thought of people. You know, very modest, Taz. <laughs> that was wild. Man. Jericho looks on the brakes, Commander. Charges in. Lands on the end. But Jericho. Three form. He's up on strikes. Three consecutive shots, Jericho. Now look at that. Oh, oh, oh. by Commander. Got himself out of harm's way. You know, you're going to do a lot of things here, Jack. I'm not thinking you're going to have to quit Commander, though. Well, no, I agree with you. That's not going to happen, man. Just can't take too long here, Commander. You've got to get out of on the horse here. I'm going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. It's not going to be a trick, but to me it is. Commander finds his balance. The spaceman. What? What? Jericho. What? Damn, Commander regains the momentum. Could be on the verge of an upset here, Taz. Absolutely, that was amazing. I mean, yeah, you can hear the big cross after two. They're not wrong. The amazing part is that he bounces off of one rope onto another before he connects. Phoenix splash of Jericho. Well, Commander, he got it. The commander had hit it cleanly. That could have been the end of the night for Chris Jericho. Yeah. But Jericho got some boots in the face of that one. Oh, oh, Jericho, the code breaker. The counter as commander came flying in. Jericho puts the fire in. Oh, oh, commander out of this one. Yeah, it was a desperation kick out is what that was. And he barely got the legs up and out. They had to show a lot of heart right there in that kick out. So yeah, I just have to point out how weird it is to not see a single member of the Jericho Appreciation Society on Red Side. I, I don't recall Jericho wrestling many matches of any without someone at his side. And yes, the Jewish Jericho did. Yeah, Jewish effect. Anticipated by Commander. A series of strikes now to the ropes. Commander. Uh, for the Dragon Rider. Jericho. Too strong. Too powerful. 
right now, our colleague Al Scoops, Alex Marvez, trying to find out when and where, Jack, when and where are you going to face the man that you stabbed in the back? I've been waiting here a few minutes, and Jack Perry will not get out of this car. Time to knock. Jack, what's going on? You mean what's going on? It's an unsafe work environment. People are getting assaulted in there. I'm here to do my job, which happens inside a wrestling ring, not in the parking lot like a dirty little stump. Jesus! Child box! Let's go back to the great Canadian, the remarkable Renee Paquette. 
Hey guys, seems like there could be some big news for the Don Callis family right now. I'm waiting for Don Callis. He was just in the ring making his way backstage right now. Don, excuse me, just wanted to get uh, a reaction from him. It seems like you could have a huge announcement for your conversation you just had with Chris Jericho for the Don Callis family. Chris Jericho's a fabulous athlete, but if you're going to talk about announcements, Renee, later tonight I'm going to go out to the ring by myself and I'm going to make the big announcement everyone's been waiting for, the fifth member for the Blackpool Combat Club to face the elite at Blood and Guts. Pretty vulnerable to go out there by yourself, given your relationship with Kenny Omega. You have any level of concern? You know, Renee, I'm, I'm not a tough guy. I never claimed to be. But if there's one guy in this entire business that I'm not afraid of, it's that gutless coward, Kenny Omega, because he showed his real colors when he betrayed my family. So, yeah, I'll be out there alone. I don't expect any problems. Kenny will be hiding behind the skirts of the young bucks. Right. Well, uh, thank you very much, Don, and good luck with that announcement a little bit later tonight. Guys, back to you. Well, Don Callis engaging in a little bit of revisionist history there, saying that Kenny Omega was the one that betrayed the Don Callis family. I'll tell you what, Callis better watch himself. I, mean, I want to hear what he has to say, but he better be careful. He's an idiot. <laughs> well, from one idiot to another, MJF, our AEW world champion, has been trying to create a relationship with Adam Cole. They have been partnered up in this AEW Blind Eliminator tournament, and MJF, he's been trying to win over Adam Cole at every single turn. And he continued this past week with another team bonding session. Let's take a look. Sometimes I misplace things. I'm trying to blow the hole for now. I'm, I'm not BSing anybody. I don't. I just don't know where it is. You're hostile, I'm not your brother. I'm not, I'm not being hostile. Not at all. Not even a little just a smith. Not even. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Boys. How's it going? Okay, brother. I am no mathematician, but I am eyeing right now. Two for me, two for you. <laughs> Max, no, 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 no. I can make these cameras go away if that's all you know, brother. I, I get it. No, no, you, you're not getting it, Max. I, I actually really care about Brent. That is respectable as hell, man. You are so brave. Four more for Daddy. Ladies, would anybody care to accompany the world champion to the bottom yet? First, I have a confession to make. I do, okay? I, uh, I never lost the shirt. I knew it. I never lost the shirt. Do but, it. listen, I will put it on right here, right now, if we do what I want to do next. All right, what do you want to do? Dude, what the... <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Max, you know, you're, uh, you're pretty cool, man. You are. You're, you're cool, Max. Do you mean that, dude? Of course I do. <laughs> you're cool, man. You know what? Let's say me and you win those AEW World Tag Team titles, because we're better than you. Bay Bay. I like it. You damn right. Let's do it damn right.
from sweet chili lime sauce it has three perfect ingredients. Sweet chili lime. Yeah, that's right. Sweets and ingredients. And you can try it home in one bundle starting at eight ninety nine. Only a book for the lime. We'll advance to the final of the AW World Tag Team Championship Line of Eliminator Tournament. Will it be Sammy Gapar and Jimmy Garcia? Jumping knee strike, catching Darby in the corner after Daniel Garcia got dropped off the apron. So he's got something on but Darby, and like we said, these two men know each other well. Just recently, they're both number one contenders for the world title. Oh, that's right, Daniel Garcia, the illegal man. Sunset flip, Darby bridges up. He was going to tear it. Garcia sends Darby back to the corner. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> and now it's Cassidy. Gets the tag in the way to his guy. And he's waiting for Danny Garcia. That's got a lot of Cassidy. He's got a big chain of playing his head games. But he's, he's, he's very uh, shifty the way he goes about his business. Orange Cassidy, Danny Garcia. They've had some great scraps for that AEW International Championship as of late. Continuing their rivalry here. Orange is looking for that DDT. Great, great job fighting him off with his feet that time. Good fought by Orange Cassidy. It's on the driver's side of the ring. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, man. Pretty good penny combination. Sitting on the shoulders, pulling back on the legs. He's so yeah. strong impact on that man. Miracle Workers is back in this season. Set the post apocalyptic wasteland filled with killer robots and killers. Farmers market. Dan Rank and Stars and Miracle Workers and Times. All new Mondays at 10, 9 Central on TBS. Did you say killer? Farmers market? That's it. Huh? It'll be dangerous. Orange March now. And Garcia. With the first sleeper. Orange Cassidy. Able to go through. Five scissors. Steps through. Does Garcia. To the dragon tower. Again, just a fine pro wrestling. You show me the one is what he wants to say. A fine pro wrestling move by the sports entertainer, Dan Garcia. And Garcia, he saw Daniel coming in, perhaps to break up Ooh, the submission hole. And now Garcia. And it was a good shot right there in the chest. Oh, nice job by Arnold Gatsby. Stunned on Millionaire. Darby over the top star. Garcia may be out on his feet. As Orange Cassidy goes through, DDT spiked him. The leg is hooked. The pinfall, no. Good job by DeVar to make that save and keep the chances for him and Garcia to maybe advance. And he came to the storm. Yeah, that's all he does. He came to the snow on him, man. Darby is making his scorpion death throw. No, Sammy Garfara smoked Darby with that knee strike. And now Orange Cassidy looking for the DDT, Sammy. Able to counter. Darby over the corner. Orange Cassidy. Beach Bro Gage. And you can see him set him up perfectly for that. Daniel Garcia. The legal man in the cover. No, Orange. Nice Wolf transition in. Nice transition. He's going to get it. Beautiful transition into the crucifix now. Once again, a second transition. Right to escape that time. Good oh. job right there. They're just going hold for hold by these pin covers. Same. He's fixed like pin. He's a great wrestler. Nice throw to him. He's got him stacked high. Oh, good job on the kick out by Garcia. He has one mistake through the bank to go down. And at that close, it's so quick when you see those quick near falls like that. The end of the game. Same guy. I'm sorry, both guys with the same thing in mind. That hot boots from both sides finally. Dropping Daniel Garcia, dropping Orange Cassidy to the mat. Still to come tonight, the semi-finals of the AEW Owen Hart Foundation. Women's tournament, Ruby Soho. And she advanced to the finals for a second year in a row. She will face Scott Glenn, plus Nick Wayne, the third-generation star, makes his AEW debut against Swerve Strickland. And we will find out the fifth member of each side for next week's Blood and Guts match live from Boston. Two rings completely closed inside the steel cage. And coming up next... Adam Cole, MJF, take on Brian Cage, Big Bill, Black Eliminator Tournament Semi-Final. Oh, no, it's collided right there.
there. Edge collided. Ah, one of these teams that we're watching will advance to July 29th at Collision in Hartford to challenge the AW World Tag Team Championship. Daniel Garcia spiking Orange Cassie on the apron may have created the opening for Sammy Guevara. This has been a battle between these four men here. Not at stake to advance in this tournament. And Darby just barely pulled himself up in the corner, but got a bit to get the lead side. Darby goes on. Darby wiped him out. Sammy anticipated it. Came flying in with that knee strike, and now Sammy goes, oh, shoot. It's hard for us now. We're talking about how much they know each other. Well, I think that's who you want to tell the time. professional wrestler. This is where most of the time was spent between me and my father and Darby. At six months old, I was I was in here with my dad and started to train seriously nine years old. And I walked up to my front door and I opened the door and right there was my mom. And she took me down the driveway and took me into this garage and sat me down on this apron exactly where I'm sitting right here. She started to burst into tears and she told me, you know dad had heart problems, right? You knew we had two open heart surgeries in the past. Dad isn't here anymore. And I remember my heart just completely sinking down in my stomach and bursting into tears and I, I felt lost. I felt clueless in, in life and professional wrestling. He was my trainer and I, I was wondering what's, what's going to happen next. I, I no longer have a father figure. <laughs> Ages 9 to 11, I was training for myself. I wanted to learn how to be a professional wrestler so that I could one day perform and be a professional wrestler. But once my dad passed, obviously that still did it for me, but I felt like it is for him and I want to continue his last name and the family legacy that I feel like was left with me. And I've been getting constantly asked, are you ready for AEW? Are you ready to wrestle on national television? Are you ready for the pressure? Yes, of course I've been ready 
to do this my entire life, ever since I stepped in the ring when I was six months old. I knew I was ready and I knew professional wrestling was meant for me. See, I'm going on a Dunkin' Run. I'll do a Dunkin' Run. I'll also go on a Dunkin' Run. <laughs> Time for a Dunkin' Run. Add a $3 sausage, egg, and cheese to a medium or larger coffee. America runs on Dunkin'. Have you heard about this Samsung chip phone? I didn't get smoked stuck inside your mind or something. And the only way to stop it is to smoke. That's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. There's no way I'd ever switch. Please. Now. This time. You've never faced anything like this. Searching for the best new movies? The latest action is all right here. Check Fios on Demand first for movies like this. This bag looks just like mine. We need to handle this. Or not. Bring the product. Let our friend go down, but if you don't, you will kill you. Rent our own the hottest new releases with Fios on Demand. Can I just This is a species we're getting for the first time ever on camera. I'm going to put myself inside an artificial vampire You can catch Shark Week from Discovery on Verizon Fios. Where with a mobile home discount, you can save more, game more, watch more, only on Verizon. It started. It's the side hug. Between milestones like this, May start at age nine. HPV vaccination, a type of cancer prevention against certain HPV-related cancers, can start then, too. For most, HPV clears on its own. But for others, it can cause certain cancers later in life. Welcome. Now, as the dad cab, it's my cue to help protect them. Embrace this phase. Help protect them in the next. Ask their doctor today about HPV vaccination. It's a fantastic party. You'll always remember your first time. This is actually the best part I've ever taken. <laughs> Who's Hugh Janus? Hugh Janus. Hey guys, I'm here with Adam Cole looking to get a word with him, a little update on his budding relationship with his tag team partner, MJF. Uh, they're in action next in the Blind Eliminator Tournament, taking on the tag team of Big Bill and Brian Cage. Renee, I'm so sorry. Yeah. So sorry. But yes, we are up next. What's up, Brody? Did you gotta tell me? You're not really starting to like this guy now, are you? Brody, he's not a half bad guy. I, I mean, if you remember when we first met, we were not the best of friends, and now I look at you like a brother. Brody, you gotta trust me, okay? We got nothing to worry about. Oh, wait. Wait, I, I just got a text. Dude, don't forget to rock our epic tag shirt. Also, we hitting that double clothesline or what? Actually, never mind. I just saw Brian Cage walk by me in the hall. I think I have the flu. Sorry. Listen, Brody, I gotta go. Okay, I gotta make a phone call. Gotta make a phone call. Max, you are not sick. Let's go! This seems a little out of control, aren't you? Um, guys, back to you. Well, we're not going to have to wait long to see what MJF's medical condition is.
right. And by the way, here's another thing that's real cool. Our brand spanking new t-shirts. Now available at shopaw.com. Buy yours today. Adam Cole! We are so close to hitting that double close line, but let's not talk about that. It's coming. Canada, trust me, that double close line's coming. It's coming. Adam, double one. Jake Hager looking to have a conversation with Chris right now, but obviously huge implications for the Jericho Appreciation Society with everything currently swirling around with Chris Jericho and Don Callis. Jake? Yeah, he knows we're coming, so let's go in. Great match. Thanks. As Thanks. always. Thank you. Thank you. But afterwards, you were smiling. You weren't actually considering this, right? Yeah, I kind of thought you were going to come here and ask me about that, but I mean, I, I just don't know, Jake. I mean, uh, Don's making a lot of great points, you know, that stuff with Bad News Allen. I mean, man, there's a lot of history there, so I honestly just don't know. I just need some time, man. It was a great moment, Chris, but we got history, too. Ten years ago, I saved your life in Abu Dhabi. Four years ago, you brought me to AEW. I left behind an undefeated MMA career because you asked. I've been here since day one. So I deserve to know. And look, I get it. You're Chris Jericho, you got a lot going on. But this isn't just your career on the line. It's mine too. So until you can be straight with me, 
I can't give you a hundred. Jones and the Dial of Destiny when you spend $35 at Applebee's. Applebee's. Now that's eating good in the neighborhood. How much time? 15 seconds. crafting its deluxe Wagyu Steakhouse burger. And with great weight comes great responsibility to make irresponsibly huge burgers. Arby's, we have the meat. Ooh, there's only two chairs left. You better hurry. The power to get there in no time? That's what you'd expect from the ultimate electric driving machine. Not today, brother. You got this! As you know. Say la vie, as I always say. Dad, you've never said that. Never. The BMW Summer On Sales event is on now. Lease the 2024 BMW iX XDrive 50 for $929 per month now. It's locked at first. Metro has unlimited 5G for just $25. And a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. It's perfect. You're perfect. I love you. Oh. I love it. Get a free 5G phone now at Metro. We found a top agent on Zillow. She helped us get the perfect home. It saved us from the night we won. Is that normal? Run. I wonder if anyone ever bought that place. Disney's Haunted Mansion. In theaters July 28th for the PG-13. Zillow. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Cut on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.
weeks back on Collision Taz when she defeated Ruby Soho in tag team action. Yeah, absolutely. It's something that she can use as a go-to, obviously. But, you know, her opponent knows that. Her opponent knows what's going on here. This is huge as we've been putting out here. It's a little more about the message and the mission of the Owen Hart Foundation. Please visit OwenHartFoundation.org. I think what has happened in the past few weeks, to Chad Lee, Tex has given her a lot of confidence, especially in this match here. She's going to need to get someone like Ruby for sure with the experience advantage, how tough that Ruby is. Open handed, strike by Sky Blue, Ruby Soho. It's like face first, not top turn, turn up the pad. You know, last year, Sky Blue and Ruby Soho, they were tag team partners on multiple occasions. Sky Blue's a movie with somebody. But she saw as a mentor, and we see the EW Women's World Champion, Tony Storm, they would take two minutes here in the match, and it's over for them to get involved. Now the outcast have been instrumental to the spark of the outcast to do that. If you want to do that early, go and show a red space in the head of the opponent. Oh, I'm Sky Blue. That's, that's what's smart about it. And Ted, while all of that was going on, Sky Blue trying to neutralize Tony Storm and Soraya on the outside, was maybe looking for a dragon. Suplex on the apron on Ruby Soho, but Sky putting on the brakes, fighting out, and Ruby Soho goes down, first into the ring apron. Tough landing there, so really you know, hit that apron super hard. And Sky Blue is so talented. Oh my god, Charlie Storm just sent it, Sky Blue! I don't know what you're there when you get to that steps, but it's right in front of referee Stephon Smith. You didn't want to go to this, and so I was just going to point it out. You know, uh, the referee's got the outcast out of here. That's only story. She got sloppy there on the outside. She didn't wait for the referee's back to be turned. She didn't stop going to the steps. But how's the damage to be done? I think so. You can see the pain of uh, Scott Blue holding her knee. What move by Stephon? Ruby Soho now. Gonna have to fight this one alone against a potentially injured Scott Blue. I would go right after that knee. If I was Ruby, at some point get her and we'll see right now. That's what she's gonna do. And Scott, Ruby Soho hammering the knee into the steel ring steps. Man, alive. don't forget, the winner of this will face the winner of the Feminine Rankings between the Tina and the Luma. They're coming up this Friday night in the finals of the tournament happening this Saturday at Collision. And this match, this semifinal round match, continues in picture in picture. Well, I do not see that coming. You've got your 40 year high school reunion, that's one. Skeletons. They all died in the boom. We moved to Boom Town to share our life together. I don't want to be late for first day of work. Are you going to be all right here? I have a warlord from anywhere. I have come to slay the Hoa. This is actually the Homeowners Association. Miracle Workers 10 times. Two more new episodes. Monday at 10 on TBS. And set your DVR to catch up. Okay, everybody, look at the RV and smile. 
This is what you want for your family portrait. Good point. We bundled the boat with our home and auto first. Mm -hmm. Hey, team, get on in here. Team? <laughs> oh. Fun. Yeah, everyone say 24-7 financial protection with Progressive. 24-7 financial protection with Progressive. Okay, let's get some singles in me on the bike. <laughs> When you help yourself to Firehouse Subs, pepperoni, pizza, meatball, sub, you're helping in other ways, too. Because at Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide life-saving equipment to first responders and communities like yours. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. Dutch Man. The semi-final round match in the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament continues. Scott Blue, our injured knee facing Ruby Soto. We have to fight this one on the Tough. I don't know if this is a small move during the rope. You got a left leg all screwed up. Oh, she landed hard on it. She yeah, came up no. clutching that left knee immediately. Yeah, Scott Blue. Oh, Scott fires back. Big elbow strike. The young lady who made it to the finals a year ago, Ruby Sell. Can she make it without her friends? Here with her now this week. Big yeah. elbow strike to the next one again. Ruby touches that cap. Oh, my God. She's. Ruby got dropped down and right into the waiting knee of Sky Blue. Yeah. That, that, that bad knee too, Excalibur. And it's a neckbreaker. She's having a great run. Sky, the near leg was hooked. And she's a fighter, isn't she, Sky Blue? Even on one wheel. And remember, the winner of this match will be facing the winner of Athena and Roland Nightingale, which takes place this Friday night at Rampage. Oh, with the fights going to be this Saturday night on Collision. As yet, we saw Sky's leg just collapse underneath her. And now Ruby, did you think of Destination on No-No? Sky vaulted through, landed on her feet, and now Sky thinking Code Blue. Can she get it? Ruby is the ropes. Ruby headed on to the top rope. Here. Oh, this is bad here. It is bad. Ruby, oh, she thinking on that leg. Bringing Sky Blue over the top rope. Oh, my God, she's got the knee. The knee just being wrenched apart of Sky Blue. Said, no, she's still in there. Look at the face of Ruby. Said, Give it up. Ruby is determined to return to the finals of the Old Hart Foundation Women's Tournament. Scott Blue is determined to make it to the bottom line. What's the hard girl to lift the weight of Ruby on the back a little back? That's what forces the pain. Sure. All of that weight sitting back on that knee joint, meaning on the low back, through the knee joint, it's cool. Ruby hanging on to the last possible second. That's now looking for that backdrop suplex. Sky Blue knows what danger she's in. Uh, she's still fighting off. Sky Blue has been so red hot. We've talked about that over the last couple of months. Oh, Sky Blue. Oh, my God. Turn things around and now Sky. With the chance to land. No. Right on her face. So landed on her nose. You can see her grabbing her nose. And remember that? That face? Ruby Soho. She had to have facial surgery on her nose due to an injury suffered last year. Uh, I don't know what Sky Blue is trying, but... She, She's never trying to get up on top of this. She's in a desperate situation. And sometimes when you're desperate, you don't think properly. Right. This is squat right here. And Ruby's still holding the nose, having a conversation. The referee Stefano. Oh, but oh, she was just using Stefan as a screen. She sure was. Good call. And Ruby. No oh, future. Off the ropes. Oh, and Ruby Soto turns to the finals. Ricky Stars and Fonzie to the final of the Owen Hart Men's Tournament. Now Hart 
Robinson's hot. An eliminator match. If Jay White and Juice Robinson win, they get a title shot. Play homage to the number one contenders. Anything sweeter than taking that goal and beating you twice in one or two out of three for those championships. 18 years since I've been in the ring with Samoa Joe. This is a new chapter in the rivalry for Samoa Joe and CM Punk. This Saturday night, live on TNT, FTR, Bullet Club, Gold, Best 203 Falls for the AW World Tag Team Championship, plus the finals of the Owen Hart Foundation Men's Tournament, CM Punk, Absolute Ricky Starks, and coming up next, live on Dynamite, Nick Wayne makes his AEW debut against Swerve Strickland, all that, and so much more, still to come tonight, live on Dynamite. Searching for the best new movies? The latest comedies are all right here. Check Fios On Demand first for movies like this. Welcome to Wackening. You are a black character in a horror movie, proving you can stay loved. There's a crazy person out here hunting us. You got Rosa Parks in your shirt. You should be sitting down right now. That's exactly what she did. Rent our own the hottest new releases with Fios On Demand. This summer, retirement is a state of mind. Whether it's a mid-morning activity or an early bird special, grab a Coors Light and chill like you're retired. Ethan, the world's coming after you. Thank you. 
Please know the bad is QT Marshall gonna take you all out with the dirty driver. Fill him with the venom, fill him with the venom, fill him with the venom, and eliminate him with the words of made him. I don't wanna hurt him, but it didn't matter if it rage him, but it rage him, but it will hit him. Hell yeah, I'm that good, baby. Yeah, I just called it shady. Took you to school, that's right. Three guys just stepped on by a lady. You zero Hollywood. Y'all know I'm just begun. Don't run with scissors now. Sit down, y'all just became my son. Ugh. <laughs> Wow, Harley, that was incredible. I mean, it's already climbing the charts, I can tell. And uh, for once, I'm actually at a loss for words. So Taz and um, those other two guys, back to you. Ah, it was awesome. I love QT. And all of that was great. I got this guy. It's the I agree. That was a great guy. Last contest is sick for one ball with a two-minute minute time limit. Being accompanied by Brent Nana from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing 220 pounds. Yes, this one now puts Donna in tow. Yes, we're strictly with the game. In the loss for Forge Cassidy and Darby Allen earlier tonight. Now on a mission to upset the debut of Nick Wayne here in AEW. Remember, you were very kind. He called the damn thing that happened, is what it is. And you could have heard that. Big words I use the fact is, is that I know Nick Wayne was backstage watching this, and I'm telling you, this is a hell of a debut we got coming up right now. especially off in the Seattle area. And this Saturday, we still have a chance to join us. Calgary Saddle Dome, Calgary State Beat going on, ADW Collision Battle of the Belt 7. Three straight hours of wrestling live on TNT. Visit AWTIX.com to join us live in Calgary this past Saturday night. And Swerve brings Nick Wayne down to Baker Dickerman's. Nick Wayne able to kick out Swerve one step ahead of Nick Wayne. You know, one of the big stories in this entire program has been the debut of Nick Wayne, but let's not discount what Swerve has been able to do as of late. He has been on fire, guys. Yeah, he's tremendous. He has been a tremendous for a lot of years. He's, a, he's the real deal of my opinion. Remember, still to come tonight, we will find out the fifth member of each team for the Blunt Guts match coming up live next week. TD Garden in Boston as Nick Wayne goes over the top. Once off the back of Swerve. Swerve looking for the high boot. Nick Wayne looking for the boot. Roundhouse kick. Two guys know each other coming up. We talked about the history of the independent scene. The wrestled twice in singles matches. Both at Defy Wrestling in Nick's hometown of Seattle. Splitting the series. One match apiece. Now facing off. You know, interesting, another interesting full circle note about this match, Aubrey Edwards, referee Nick Wayne's first match in the United States, and that was on his debut here tonight on Dynamite, where Nick Wayne, looking confident, looking collected, but he turned his back on Swerve, and Swerve made a pass. You can't do that, that's, I mean, that's just... 
an inexperienced situation. He's got to be careful of that, but let's see if he can pin him out. Fisher makes suplex into a bridging pin. And that's just getting caught up in the moment that time, turning your back on your opponent. And again, Nick Wayne has had plenty of experience, but nothing on the stage this large, being on a national television audience. Now, Nick Wayne, he's, he's looking for Wayne's World, that, that springboard cutter. He saw him, he saw him at the promotional package, then he seen Prince Nye. Put his hands on Nick Wayne, but he swore. Set to the outside, Nick heard the footsteps, and now, Nick over the top to the middle turnbuckle swerve. That's what put up the brakes. Uh oh, this will be a problem if the way he's in trouble. Strictly sure, could hit something on that apron, but we got a little man to fight out. And this way, oh, oh, Takes Swerve down to the floor. And this match continues. He pitcher, pitcher, Nick Wayne, Swerve Strickland. It's Kent Olsen and Link. Journalism House for a reality. Run! This is the story of the century. My Adventures with Superman. New episodes, Thursdays at midnight, on Adult Swim. Next day on Max. Saturday, two out of three fools for the women's championship. Plus, it's the women's and men's coming hard cup finals. I will leave everything in that ring. I will earn it. CEW Collision, live, Saturday at 8 on TNT. So I'm up for Junior's for just five dollars Six options, so much to offer Barbecue, bacon, cheese to name a few Only five bucks and you get to have two The best advice I ever got was to invest with Vanguard for my retirement The second best, stay healthy enough to enjoy it So I started preparing, physically and financially then you came along and made every mile worth it. Hi, Mom. At Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner, helping you prepare for today's longer retirement. That's the value of ownership. New Simply Mixology. It can be a mocktail. It can be a cocktail. It can be an anything you want it to be tail. Say yes to Simple. Say yes to Simply Mixology. What are you working on today? My car is starting kind of slow. Let's see. Just needs a charge. It's free. Are you sure it's free? Positive. The scariest movie of the summer is now the number one movie in the world. What? Huh? Insidious is deliciously terrifying. It is one of the best war franchises ever made. Insidious the Red Door. I'm playing Ready PG-13. Ma, are you sure you don't want to go bowling with us tonight? Yeah, no. There's my little Marcy fan! <laughs> oh, my daughter gives the best hugs! <laughs> We're just passing through on our way to the Jazz Jamboree. <laughs> and we wanted to thank America's number one motorcycle insurer for saving us money! <laughs> Mara, your parents are exactly like me. You know, right? <laughs> well, cherish your friends and loved ones! <laughs> Let's boogie woogie! Get a free ticket to see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny when you spend $35 at Applebee's. Applebee's. Now that's eating good in the neighborhood. Nick Wayne with the support of this crowd here in Saskatoon, but he's going to need more than that to prevail over Swerve Strickland live tonight on Dynamite. Let's not forget, coming up, we're going to find you the fifth member will be on either side. The Button Guts next Wednesday, TV Garden Arena, and live on TBS. It's coming up next. Oh, what a shot right there. Oh. Nick Wayne has been eating some blows, so he's got a tough chin to get man, but Swerve is really brilliant. And a chop to the chest. Nick Wayne, no Swerve. And Nick Wayne, over the left there. Yeah, landed him. Solid shot down, Swerve Strickland. Swerve charging in, Nick. Evades. Shotgun drop kick. That drops kept evaded that time by Nick. Now, Nick, come on, Nick. Get back to the fight here. He's in, he's in good shape now, I think. Nick Wayne. Back up, going through with the kick. Swerve trying to get the hands up, but that kick was powerful. And now Nick Wayne coming off the left. Swerve down there. And now over the... Missed out right there, but it was a good job by Nick on that. 
Midway's mother looking on, watching her son compete in his Dynamite debut. What a summer he has had. Returning to his first tour of Japan with DDT Pro Wrestling. And he's done so much before the age of 18. He can he land Wage World here tonight? No swerve. Intercepting the backbreaker in the familiarity that they both have. by Nick to kick out and Strickland really, really laid that second backbreaker in. Well done by Strickland. And look, look at this fact on Nick Wayne. His cross paths were coming up. We are here. Balls he opened. Kanosuke to catch the all mainstays here in AEW. Right. And Nick Wayne did it all before his 18th birthday. It's, it's, it's amazing strong edge now. We're amazing on many fronts. And the fans here just seeing Nick Wayne. Nick Wayne, they're behind the young man. The ring now is in some serious trouble. Swerve, sharing some words as Darby Allen so coming to the top of the ramp, trying to encourage him right now. Looks his protege. Go! He remembers also what happened in that tag team match early in the night. Yeah, we're walking over straight being shown by Darby Allen. You know, this has gotten hugely emotional for him. He's known Nick, Nick Wayne for years since he was so much younger. And now competing yeah. here on this huge stage. Let's see if Bobby's motivation helped. Oh, Oh my god! Collision. 
in the finals of the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament. Ruby Soul is the winner of Athena Will Nightingale. The NW World Tag Team Championship best two out of three falls. FTR versus Bullet Club Goal. Plus the finals of the Owen Hart Foundation Men's Tournament. CM Punk, absolute Ricky Starks, and immediately following collision at Battle of the Belt 7, the TNT Championship on the line. Luchasaurus with Christian Cage in his corner versus Sean Spears. And then next week, Blood and Guts live from the TD Garden Arena in Boston. Who will be the fifth man for each side? We are moments away from finding out. Earlier tonight, Don Callis said he would come out to the ring by himself and tell us who the fifth man for the Blackpool Combat Club and Kanosuke Takeshita will be. And he's going to do it by himself because he said Kenny Omega is a gutless coward. Yeah. This issue with Omega. I've got something to say. I'm out here to make a very important announcement. I'm very excited about it. I'm here to announce the fifth member for the Blood and Guts match for the Blackpool Combat Club. And I'm so excited this fifth member, along with the rest of the BCC, is going to slaughter the elite and Kenny Omega. May God guide their hand. And there's no one more deserving of this abuse than Kenny Omega, who's an ingrate. Kenny Omega, you can love him, but I know the real Kenny Omega. The real Kenny Omega is a coward. Smile, 
It's ripped off your feet permanently. Don't do this, guys. Yeah. Uh, we still we still have a fifth minute or two. Uh, check the screen. Check the screen. <laughs> Nothing compared to what we do. And then we're off. I 